It's a Barbie world in Boston this weekend. Fans are flocking to theaters to see the new Barbie movie, many showing up in costume. It is, no question, one of the most anticipated movies of the year. And tonight, WBZ's Mike Sullivan headed to the theaters to see how fans are celebrating this premiere. It's lights, camera, Barbie. From the pink streamers to the party hats, the icon is plastered across Coolidge Corner Theater. We pre-sold over 6,000 tickets to Barbie and Oppenheimer combined. What is a typical weekend, you ask? A, a thousand to fifteen hundred people. Mark Anastasio and his team are simply trying to keep up with demand. They spent the night before uh, the first sh day of shows decorating the theater. To him, the craze is a sign of life, proof that people are eager to return to the theater, be it Barbie, be it Oppenheimer, be it Barbenheimer. It's being celebrated as some sort of novelty, but this is the way it was prior to our every prior to the pandemic. Like movies used to come out on the same weekend and compete with one another. You've got grandmothers coming in here, you've got little kids coming in here. It touches upon everybody. It's running from you know from kids all the way through senior citizens are coming through the doors to see Barbie. Count and San Filippo among them. I've been waiting for two years. It's like Christmas. <laughs> Calling her just a Barbie fan may actually be insulting. Her obsession began when she was a child after her mother disposed of her Barbies. I was heartbroken, so I said, someday I'm going to start a collection. And start a collection she did. I counted last week roughly 245. As a birthday present, her husband and children built her a life-size Barbie box. And once a year, I have a Barbie party when it's her actual birthday, and we take out the shelves and people get in to take photos. <laughs> Naturally, she had to be here for the opening weekend. She rented out an entire theater in Danvers for 40 of her friends. The whole group showed up in costume. I had a waiting list going. I had to turn people away. It's truly her Barbie dreamland. There's nothing better than enjoying something you love together with people you love. In Danvers, I'm Mike Sullivan, WBZ News. Oh my gosh, and the three of us just wish that we'd been able to go. That looks so fun. I have not seen people get this excited over a movie premiere in a very, very long time. Yeah, and hopefully it lasts for a while because it's going to be hard to get tickets.